of people ask me, how can I choose between the big ship experience and the river cruise or the small ship experience? They are completely different and there's really something there for everyone. We've all heard about the mega cruise ships, right? The 5,000 passengers, the ones with the water parks and the climbing walls and the skating rinks and the surfing and the dozens of restaurants and dozens of bars and play areas for the children that really is a destination itself. Even if you don't go anywhere, you almost don't have to leave that ship. The small ships and the river cruise ships like this one, completely different experience. First of all, you're here with only a couple of hundred other passengers. So you get to know everyone, you dine with them, you, you spend some time on excursions with them. They really all become your friends. But the small ship experience is completely different. The small ships can get right in the heart of countries. They can sail up rivers. This river cruise ship we're docked right now in Regensburg, in the heart of Germany. And really, you can get here and experience life like this any other way. We're going to go visit the Christmas markets. And that's something that, on a big cruise ship, they need to be in big ports. Those are not going to be nearly as exotic as ports of call. The smaller ships and the river cruise ships, they can really get into small, off the beaten track destinations and really get you into the heart of a city, often docking right downtown in the heart of the old town, so you can just wander off the ship and right into the heart of a wonderful destination. Special thanks to our hosts of Rosa River Cruises, Escape the Ordinary.